Hi guys, we are back. Uglysim.com has again picked up some amazing tricks and tips for your upcoming 12th board exam. Subject will be physics and now I'm going to tell you some amazing tips. Number one, study all derivations, definitions, diagrams and memorize formula and units of physical quantities. Prepare a variety of conceptual questions based on application of laws, principles and solve related numericals. Practice makes a man perfect as you all know. Solve the last 5 year board papers under exam conditions sticking to the time limit of 3 hours which makes you familiar with the paper pattern and makes you more confident. Devote some time for meditation and exercise to increase your concentration power. You definitely need to relax first and then only you can go a step ahead. Now, CVSC sample papers. So where will you get the free amazing sample papers? That is uglysem.com, your philosopher and your guide. Step 1. Go to uglysem.com, search CBSC sample papers. Now go to CBSC sample papers for class 12th board exam. You can see several links of CBSC sample papers. Select your subject. Get CBSC sample papers. As I already said that practice makes a man perfect, you should definitely go through all the sample papers. We're talking about physics right now, so click on physics and you'll get all the sample papers you want. Examination pattern. A total time duration will be of 3 hours and maximum marks will be 70 marks. Weightage to learning outcome. Your answers depends upon your knowledge, understanding and application. Based on this criteria, you score. Weightage to form of questions. Now, there are typically five kind of questions. First, very short answer type questions, short answer type questions, short answer type questions, which will be again uh, carrying different marks, long answers and long answers of second type. Now, very short answer type questions. Uh, very short answer type questions are of one mark each and there will be total number of five questions. The expected time for each question will be approximately 2 minutes. Short, uh, now coming on to the short answer type questions. Marks for each question will be 2 and number of questions will be again 5. Expected time will be 8 minutes to 4 minutes. Then we come to second type of short answer type questions will be of, which will be of 3 marks each. And there will be total number of 12 questions. This is the section which you can actually score very well and very much because the uh, difficulty level is average here. So you have to again give 8 minutes to 4 minutes to each question. Then we come to long answer type questions. These carry uh, the maximum marks uh, in your question paper. So there are two kind of long answer type questions which will be 4 marks and 5 marks. So of 4 marks there will be only one question. And coming on to on the five marks category, there will be three now three questions. So you have to divide your time accordingly because these are just the expected time for each question. You need to see from where do you have to start your question paper. Either it will be from the beginning or it will be from the end. From wherever you are gonna start, you should definitely attempt it in a chronological order. Now weightage to difficulty level of questions. Every question paper is uh, made in a way that it is difficult to score but easy to pass. Basically there are um, there are three types of questions easy, average and difficult. There are 15% of questions in the question paper which are easy. Average will be 70 and difficult will be only 15%. Now weightage to physics chapter will be explained by Mr. Pankaj here. Hello guys. Weightage to physics chapters. There are total 10 chapters in physics, which includes electrostatics, which uh, have been awarded 8 marks, current electricity, which have been awarded uh, 8 marks, magnetic effects of current magnetism, electromagnetic induction and altering currents, which includes 8 marks, electromagnetic waves, which has been awarded 3 marks, optics which has been awarded 10 marks, dual nature of matter and radiation, which includes 4 marks, atomic nucleus, 
which includes six marks, solids and semiconductor devices, sorry, which includes seven marks. Now let's talk about the question paper pattern. The question paper is divided into five sections, which includes uh, numerous uh, number of questions. Marks, uh, different marks have been allotted to each question, and there are some internal choices and external choices to the question uh, question paper. Let's talk about section A. There are five question in section A, which has been allotted one marks each. There will be no choices in this section. Section B which includes five questions, two marks for each question. Choices are provided only in one question. Section C, uh, there are 12 questions in section C, uh, which includes three marks each. Choices are provided only in one question. Section D, uh, it includes one question, which is value based question, which includes, uh, which has been allotted four marks and there is no choice. Section E, there are total number of three questions in section E, which includes five marks each and choices are provided in three questions. Tips to score marks in exam. Firstly, read the question paper carefully. It is the uh, first and the foremost tip. Secondly, while uh, writing the answers, follow order of question paper. Please tick mark all the questions with pencil on question paper, which you have to attempt. Don't write lengthy answers for one mark and two marks. For five marks questions, draw, uh, try to draw quick diagrams if possible as it uh, helps to fetch more marks in exams. Use only blue and black pen in exam. Do not use any other color pen. Guys, now we are going to tell you the amazing examination day tips which you need to take care on the day of exam. So first, you should sleep. Get eight hours of sleep a day before exam at least. Eat moderate breakfast. Punctuality. Reach to examination center 45 minutes before commencement of exam. It's a must thing. Please take care of all the necessary art articles which we have to bring to the examination hall. Keep all study material like extra pen, pencil, eraser and hall ticket a night before the exam. And avoid all the nervous students. The students who are nervous, try not to talk to them even if they are friends guys. Read directions. Read all directions in question paper carefully. Read each question. Read each and every question and each and every word carefully. Time management. It is very important not only for this exam but for the, all the in, uh, upcoming exams. Do not waste your time on particular question. If you don't know any question, proceed to the next questions. Guys, you should definitely, definitely remember all these tips which we have provided you today. We will be back for the next subject sooner. All the best. All the best.